How did this turn-of-the-century German-style saloon manage to survive prohibition and stay in business for nearly 130 years? By operating as a speakeasy under the name Craig's Restaurant and installing secret hiding places for liquor. Originally founded under the name Viehmeisters, this establishment has been serving food and libations since 1882. During Prohibition, the bar managed to elude authorities because of the name change. However, they continued to serve alcohol, and, in a pinch, customers could stash their liquor in the seats of their booths. Shortly after the repeal of Prohibition, the bar became known by its present name, Old Town Bar. Old Town was originally a German-style saloon supplied by the local German breweries in Yorkville. The clientele were working-class people seeking familiar faces and a little bit of home. While the saloon on the first floor served only men, the upstairs had a dining room that was open to both men and women, making Old Town a place for the whole neighborhood to enjoy. Inside, you can still see many architectural and design features of the early 19th century. Much of the decor has remained the same since the 1930s, including the pressed tin ceiling, vintage tiled floor, stained glass, and high-backed leather booths. The bar is also the proud owner of some of the last working patented Hinsdale urinals on the East Coast. Installed in 1910, these large urinals are iconic of the early 19th century and have been in working order for over 100 years. Some may recognize this site from film and television. Old Town Bar was used as a filming location for the opening credits of The Letterman Show in the 1980s, as well as movies like The Last Days of Disco. The bar has also long been a popular gathering spot spot for many famous writers over the years, such as Nick Hornby, the poet Billy Collins, and the late Frank McCourt. While the clientele and neighborhood around Old Town Bar may change, much about this bar remains the same 